Isaac Pearson, thank you for a five dollar super chat. I've been trying to build a drone and it won't fly. How do I get my FlySky FSI six B to show up in beta flight? I have an iFly six 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 blah blah blah. Okay, um, you got a couple of hoops you got to jump through. I'm gonna try and help you with the simple version of the hoops you got to jump through, uh, but you might need to end up emailing me to finish it. Maybe you'll get lucky. The first thing you got to do is you got to flash your flight controller. And here in the flashing options under radio protocol, you have to select iBus. Okay, iBus. You got to reflash it and select iBus. Otherwise, your, your receiver outputs iBus. Your receiver can also output SBus, but iBus is better. If you plan to use SBus, then you would choose SBus. But you have to pick one of those two because by default, neither IBUS nor SBUS are included when you flash. So you got to do that. So let's let's just do that real quick. Um, we'll do IBUS, load online. Any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. The hell. Are you joking? What the hell? Come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are I we? Think it's, I think it's building it because it doesn't have a built copy. Oh, shit. It has, to, it has to compile it because no one has <laughs> run IBUS on this flight controller and it's not pre-compiled. I see the status right here. I was like, why isn't it downloading faster? This is the first time in history anyone has run Betaflight 4.5 with IBUS on the JBF 7v2. That's hilarious. Thank you, Blunty, for pointing that out. Flash firmware... Ignore the risk. This is a throwaway flight controller, so it doesn't matter. And by throwaway, I mean it's just one I keep in my desk for demos. I don't mean that I literally throw away flight controllers because I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a spoiled creator. Oh, what's this? What's this? Ooh. Eh. Yeah, I probably don't need that. Oh, what's this? No, what about this one? That's all. I've just pissed off someone royally. You guys are so easy. If you're pissed off right now, you got played. It's a joke. And then he threw the flight controllers behind him like he doesn't even care. And I think one of them was a KISS flight controller. That means Bardwell hates KISS. Oh, that Bardwell. So disrespectful. So then in the ports tab, um, you're going to wire IBUS to a UART RX. Not the SBUS pad, but a standard UART RX. If you have a flight controller that only has an SBUS pad, then you're going to have to use SBUS. Okay, um, but assuming you're using IBUS, you'll do that. You'll enable Serial RX for that UART number. And then you will go to the Receiver tab and you will choose IBUS protocol. That's it. Um, the other thing is that most FlySky receivers can output both SBUS and IBUS. And so you will need to go, you might need to go into your menus in your controller and find that where to change that setting uh, to make sure it's outputting the correct protocol. That's the short version of how to do it. 